Today is Super Tuesday. Voters in 16 states going to the polls. Besides the presidential primaries, there are other races on the ballot. Here in California, voters will narrow down the number of candidates vying for our state's open U.S. Senate seat. KTLA's Eric Spillman in the newsroom following that story for us. Eric, good morning. Morning, Frank. There are actually about a dozen candidates or more running for the Senate seat that the late Dianne Feinstein held on to for so many years. Four of them have received the most attention. After today's voting, the top two will advance to the general election in November. Hello, Los Angeles. Are you ready to win this thing? Are you ready to win this thing? Last night, Democratic Congressman Adam Schiff was in Burbank speaking to a crowd of supporters, urging them to vote and taking a final shot at one of his opponents, Republican, former baseball star Steve Garvey. That we make sure that that, uh, that one time first baseman uh, who is now playing in deep, 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 far, far right field never gets anywhere near the U.S. Senate. Schiff has been running numerous TV ads that have elevated Garvey's profile, pointing out that Garvey voted for Donald Trump. And the idea is that Garvey will be easier to beat in November than fellow Democrat Katie Porter. In a recent poll, Garvey now has a slim lead over Schiff, with Porter in third place and Representative Barbara Lee of Oakland in fourth. Porter voted over the weekend in Orange County. She criticized Schiff's strategy of promoting Garvey. She says it only helps turn out more Republican voters, and she says it could come back to bite Democrats in the fall in close House races. That's the cynical cycle, right? So Representative Schiff spent to make Garvey um, now in first position, and now he's going to fundraise off the fact that he's done exactly that. And the reality is this is a big gift to the GOP. This is the shift gift um, to the Re Republican Party in California. And it is a big problem for us in this election, but also down ballot into November. Garvey has run a low profile campaign with few events and not a lot of specific proposals on what he would do if elected. California hasn't elected a Republican to statewide office in many years, but he says it's time for a change. I think there's only been one loud voice uh, that's really controlled California, and, and that's what our country's built on. Two voices, two opinions. If you stand with me, maybe we can make a difference and, and uh, improve the quality of your life and uh, bring back the luster of this state. Representative Barbara Lee visited a polling center at her alma mater, San Fernando High School, yesterday to get out the vote. She has said she supports a $50 an hour minimum wage. On foreign policy, she supports calling for Israel to halt its war in Gaza. I've called for a permanent ceasefire and working on that and letting young people know that I'm the only candidate in this race who has called for that. All right, if, you, if you've looked at your sample ballot for this Senate, Senate race, or if in fact you've already voted, you're going to notice something confusing. You will be asked to vote twice for Senator. One of the contests is for a very short term to fill the office from November of this year to January of next year. And the other contest is for the full six year Senate term that begins in January. So you have to vote. Well, you don't have to, but you have the opportunity to vote twice for Senate. Jessica.